ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I kind of been like drying content. I was going to do a Celtic video. Um, a lot of reports on people Celtic bidding on official bids on a play, I can't remember a player from Besiktas or sort of Gordon Stratton getting linked to the director football job or something like that. I was going to do a video like that, but I couldn't be bored about talking about Celtic Day, guys. And it is my birthday. I could not be bored. So. Um, it's Scotland's final game in Group D tomorrow night um, at Hamden Park and it may just be the most vital game of the three as Scotland must win if they have hopes of qualification to the next round. The stats lie in our favour. Croatia have never beat, bet the Scots in their, light, their five previous meetings. Draw three, lost two in fact. France, in fact France, um, eight games and Portugal, seven games are the only teams the, Cro the Croatia's. Croatia have faced on more occasions without ever securing a victory. None of the five matches between um, Croatia and Scotland have produced, uh, you know, uh, produced uh, or won um, more than two goals. Sorry, Scotland have only lost um, one of their last nine matches at Hamden Park. Won five, drawn three. Um, though, uh, though it was on match day one against the Czech Republic, lost. Uh, the last suffered back-to-back -back defeats of Hamden in September 2019 against Russia and Belgium. Very tough opponents. Same as Croatia. Going to be a tough one. Croatia are winless in the in three European Championship matches. Drawn one, lost two. Only enduring a longer winless run in the tournament once previously. It was a five-game run that spanned in, in the 1996 and then in 2004 editions. Scotland today have confirmed the young star, superstar Billy Gong was fantastic on Friday night against England. Tip was Scotland in it positive for COVID-19, but it's obviously a huge loss for Steve Carr's side as he will miss Tuesday's game. It goes out saying that we wish him, obviously, the best uh, well throughout the isolation period. Hopefully he's well. Um, I think we can take many positive from Friday's draw against England, and if we play how we did at Wembley, I think we can stand good for qualification. I think we can. I really think we can. As for what I think will happen, um, I'll be optimistic and I'll say... We can pull off a 1-0 victory, which would hopefully send us through on four points. However, it'll be a tough ask. Come on, Scotland. And I'll leave you on that, guys. Um, that's just obviously a preview on the Scotland-Croatia game. Please subscribe, like. Um, it is my birthday night, so I'm just going to join it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support in the channel. Uh, thanks for the comments on Instagram and all that stuff. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, always link in the bio. Um, Snapchat as well and all that stuff. So, um, I'll leave you on... What I think my lineup will be: uh, Marshall, Tierney, Hanley, Tommy, Robertson on the other side, Donald, McGregor, McGinn. It's going to be Turnbull instead of Billy Gilmore because obviously test positive for COVID. And there it's going to be Turnbull. Turnbull definitely a good slaughter. And then Adams, Dykes up front. They weren't, they weren't actually perfect Friday, so hopefully can against Croatia. Come on, Scotland.